What's up everybody, Greg Adela here. It's Wednesday, March 24th. Time again for my weekly Wednesday update as I take you along with me on my journey to become the 76th mayor of Albany, New York. Quick thank you uh, again to all of you for spreading my uh, positive message, for your donations, uh, your words of encouragement. Thank you very much, it means a great deal to me. I'm gonna get right into it again uh, this week. Uh, the current mayor is now in her narrative is about um, you know cleaning up Albany and holding uh, absentee landlords accountable for their properties. Um, she, where's she been? She's had eight years to do this and now she's putting her shoes on uh, because it's an election year. Don't fall for that facade, please. Uh, you can go back to the three years I've been documenting all of this about the blight and the filth that's going on in this city. Um, and, and it's unacceptable. And it, and it all falls uh, on her administration. Um, you know, we, we clean up our block every day. We take pride in that. And that's the responsibility of every business owner and homeowner, okay, to do that. Um, so, and I've been saying that for three years. So what we need to do is I need to... I want to empower and lift up these communities and, and the workers to have that pride, to show that morale that, hey, look, I care. I know that you can care as well. And also in her narrative now, the mayor is, is saying that, listen, she wants to have more community uh, day cleanups within your neighborhood. Okay, that's nice and all, okay? And she even said that DGS will supply the materials. Great. Really? Well, why are we paying high taxes? That's what DGS is for. And they're great people down at DGS. I know some of them. I want to empower them so they feel more pride in their work to go out to the cities uh, and, and do their work because it helps everybody out, makes everyone feel good. But for the fact is that she's putting the onus on you to pay these high taxes and now you go out and clean the streets, that's unacceptable. That's really junior varsity. And, 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 it's, and it's egregious in, in, in some respect. I really truly feel that way. Um, don't fall for this facade. Don't, because it's an election year and she wanted to implement this, she could have the past eight years. My videos, I've been documenting that since 2018. Um, and look, I know that, you know, she's the incumbent. A lot of people, you know, you just know her and then you're going to go in in November and just vote for her. You want to get to know me? I want to get to know you. I'm very accessible. Drop me an email, greg at gregformayor2021.com. We can set up a Zoom meeting. I can meet you in person at safe distance. I am fine with all of that. Second to last, this administration has a lot of money. She has a lot of money herself. She gets donated a lot of money. It's a big machine here. I need those donations to keep rolling in, please. Um, I, I appreciate everything that's been coming in. Uh, it's a long road yet. Um, so keep them rolling in, and I appreciate that. Uh, and you can donate by going to my website at gregformayor2021.com. Uh, so listen, uh, I'm staying positive. I know the workers and the residents here in Albany want positive change, and I'm for you. So until the next time, stay positive, stay healthy, stay safe. I'll see you soon.